Space Harrier 2 was one of Sega's two launch titles for the Mega Drive slash Genesis. A sequel, of course, to their very popular at the time arcade game, Space Harrier. Space Harrier's legacy was pretty much lost after Sonic the Hedgehog came into popularity and Sega disowned all their previous IPs, went loving parents. While this is technically a sequel, it doesn't do much different from the previous game. The Harrier, as you play as, can traverse all over the screen as he continuously moves and shoots down various enemies and a boss at the end of each level. And that's pretty much the game. I'm pretty sure the Genesis' original intent was to bring arcade visuals to the home market, as well as its phenomenal sound chip to bring great music and even digitized voices. Of course, Super Nintendo would trump this two years later, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. But playing Space Harrier 2 today is like a mini blast from the past. It's cool to see what the Genesis originally had to offer before Sonic brought in the sales, but there's not much to come back to, especially with no power-ups as far as I can see. To put it in perspective, Contra came out the same year as this, and you can tell which game's better by night and day. This gets a rating of mediocre. To be fair, this is a launch title, and better entries are on the way. Maybe our next game, Super Thunderblade, will be better. We'll see next time.